is good. My anime thing for what is good. I really do like what I'm seeing from some of the stuff in this show. But at the same time, um, keeping up with it and not really, like, saying, like, making videos for it is kind of annoying. And I only didn't make anything because last uh, week didn't seem all that great to me. Um, just, just in the small instances of what they were giving us, it didn't feel as if the team was going to work. And clearly it works, but only to such an extent that um, we're seeing here. Kawaki having motion sickness could have been helped out by this girl a long time ago but since she don't really care or need to do it besides now when he's getting in the way because of it um she kind of steps in and just helps him out so that's one thing that's already like a red flag for her in this world of bold and toe without working together you pretty much start to fail together still um and Bordento already, like, hates her in the case of how she takes action by taking life when the whole reason that there is to in, negotiate or something along those lines, right? She's already killing when the main plan is just to try to, like, talk people out of this. And that never looks good when negotiation starts to, like, break down and they're like, yo, um, why is it that you're trying to talk to us about this stuff when you killed four of my people? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, well, four of your people wouldn't have let us get to you, so we had to take them out. You know how it goes. He's like, no, I don't. And then we have a whole new conflict. But, of course, Bold and Toe and friends can figure that out, right? No, they can't? Yeah, they probably can. <laughs> but I think that's what's going to be fun to see is just where does everything kind of end up at the end of the day uh, because multiple people are very capable swords uh, swords fighters and I really want to see Bodento have a sword arc like a arc where he just becomes uh, a lot better with swordsmanship in general I know it's something they kind of like brushed upon but if it was actually like you know, fleshed out and gave us a reason why he was using, like, what it looked like to be Sasuke's sword in the time skip, I think that would be a huge uh, W arc if it if it exists, right? Like, if, if he even needs it. He's such a prodigy that picking up a sword and starting to swing it around and imbuing it with chakra would probably be all he needs. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's about the most that he does with the sword gives him a longer range and he just imbues it with chakra because the sword he has that automatically kind of hurts him when he when he was using it was uh more of a double-edged blade than it was helpful so yeah i don't believe he should be rocking that anymore but overall man let me know what you're thinking about this whole arc of these water ninjas trying to make a name for themselves and pretty much take over what they believe should be theirs rightfully but at the end of the day we always know how these things go right like they probably have something mixed up or even if they don't have something mixed up they're doing what they believe is right so even if you shun them beat them they're ultimately going to turn around and still hate the people who follow them are still going to hate you forever so Seems like a big problem in this village, but it's con con uh, his tradition is going to continue with this whole entire crazy battle about to take foot. So, hope you're all having a good one. Hopefully this records all the way through. I just tried to record a video and it didn't work, so I'm staying away from that area I was at. Plus, not doing any quests. It was a side quest, so heaven forbid. And it all, like, shut down. Like, it just didn't record. So, we'll see how this one turns out. I hope y'all are having a good one. Oh, my God. I just died. <laughs> Peace.